X Defiant was supposed to release in the summer of last year. Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel, X Defiant, the game that seemingly cannot catch a break from catching heat from the online gaming community. X Defiant is a first person shooter being developed by Ubisoft San Francisco, and has gained immense support from the Call of Duty community due to a variety of reasons. The Call of Duty community for years now has been begging Activision to either tone down or outright get rid of skill-based matchmaking. Well, Ubisoft San Francisco has already stated that X Defiant will launch with no skill-based matchmaking in quick play, and it will only be available within the newcomer playlist until you hit level 25, and it will also only be available in the ranked play playlist. You know, the way it should be. Ubisoft has also stated that they would be bringing back the classic prestige system from Call of Duty games in the past. I want this feature. Why? Mainly because if Call of Duty isn't going to do it, then some other FPS needs to, and it gives the satisfaction of climbing the ranks. I am beyond excited that Call of Duty is actually gaining some competition within the FPS market within gaming. Also, I want to make note, the level of communication from Ubisoft in regards to X Defiant seemingly has played a role in Call of Duty wanting to step up their communication. X Defiant was supposed to be released in the summer of 2023. However, due to technical issues, there's been a myriad of delays. Which brings us to the hate the game has been receiving. The game lately has been gaining a lot of criticism as of late due to these technical delays. All I gotta say, this just proves to me that none of the people criticizing the game for the delays have any idea what actually goes into game development and what goes on on the back end of the development process. I love how people will criticize games for coming out broken, saying things like, they should have delayed it until it was ready. But the moment a studio wants to do that with their project and make sure it launches smoothly, everyone is so up in arms about it. Like, can you guys pick a side? Do you want an unfinished game or not? Make up your fucking mind, cause right now, the gaming community in regards to this game can't make up their mind as if they're a child trying to decide between pizza or McDonald's. At the end of the day, when the game comes out, Call of Duty will finally have some healthy competition within the FPS space within gaming. And healthy competition is always good to have in our economy, as it elevates everyone's product as they will be competing to earn your dollar, to earn your spending power, to earn your respect as a customer. Something that Call of Duty has grown too comfortable not having to deal with, and it's visible based on community reception of the last five Call of Duty games. Modern Warfare 3 being a slight exception, as I believe they are trying really hard with this Call of Duty game due to what X Defiant was able to showcase during its beta over the summer last year. And to those saying X Defiant can't compete with Call of Duty, I beg to differ. The game is literally classic Call of Duty, but free to play and no skill-based matchmaking. Sign me the fuck up. Thank you all so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, smash the like button, and consider subscribing to stay up to date with all my latest content. Have a good day.